Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. In today's video, I will be sharing some bits with you guys that I have picked up over the last little while. So this is another haul video for you guys. I guess we'll call it the summer haul video. I have all of my stuff to share with you guys piled up right beside me on the bed here. And it is a bunch of stuff ranging from beauty, fashion, lifestyle, all that good stuff. So I thought that I would film today and share some of the new things that I have received in the mail recently. But before I share those with you, if you aren't already, make sure to follow me on all of my social media. I have it all listed right here for you guys. I have my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. I'm always posting over there, so make sure to check that out and give me a follow. Also, if you're interested, you can head over to my website, which is right here. It is shaunaemily.com, where I'm posting all my blog posts, anything to do from beauty, lifestyle, travel, fashion. I haven't been posting lately, but I will be getting back to it once we have moved house. Right now, our house is currently in a state of chaos because we are moving in 12 days. So the focus has not been on my blog, unfortunately, but I am really excited to get back into writing over there for you guys. But without further ado, let us jump right into this haul video. So the first few things I want to share with you fall in the fashion category. I found coming into summer this year that the shorts that I had from previous seasons just weren't cutting it anymore. I was bored with them. I wanted something new. I went on to one of my favorite websites for clothing and so I have two pieces from there and the site is called venus.com. The first piece of clothing that I'm going to share with you guys from Venus is this skirt right here. It's a short mini skirt and it's just like regular t-shirt cotton material but it's ruched on the front and the back this is the front and you can see there's pockets in them as well which is really handy but yeah so it is a shorter skirt it's super stretchy I bought it in a medium and yeah I really like it it came in a few different colors but I went for the charcoal gray color because it's a good neutral I forget how much this was I got it on sale I think it was like $19.99 and um, the Venus website is all in US currency so it just converted to Canadian for me. The next um, piece of clothing I got from Venus I also got it in a medium and you can see it says Venus on there but yeah I got it in a medium and I got it in the navy color this is a ruched dress so it goes like just below the knee and on the sides it is ruched. It's really hard to show you guys like this, but just take a look at the cutaway here and you'll see how it looks on. Every time I received a Venus catalog in the mail, I would look at this dress and I was like, oh my gosh, I really like it. I really want it. And the price was always so affordable, but I never went and bought it for whatever reason. It is perfect for summertime. It comes in a few different colors. And I picked it in the navy, but I think I'm going to be picking up a few more in some of the other colors. You guys have probably would have heard about this company. It's called SandCloud. I just recently reached out to them and they had accepted me into their ambassador program, which I am super excited about. So if you want any more information on SandCloud or the ambassador program itself, then keep your eyes open for a blog post over on my website very shortly in regards to that. But I did pick up a couple things from them and the first one being this cropped t-shirt. Now you guys would know if you've been with me for a while and you can tell by the color of my nails turquoise is my favorite favorite color so when I saw this cropped shirt I knew I had to buy it and it is in this turquoise tie-dye color it has the sand cloud logo there on the front and then on the back it has the big sand cloud logo with the whale tail in the middle and secondly, sticking with the turquoise theme, I picked up one of their beach towels. The great thing about SandCloud is that every purchase that they sell, every product that you buy, proceeds of those purchases go towards saving marine life, which is amazing. 
And to date, Sand Cloud has been responsible for over 500 marine animals being rescued. Hashtag save the fishies is their hashtag. So this towel here, the beach towel that I got is their mint Baja towel. It has the tassels on the end and it features the Sand Cloud logo on the bottom. So it is 10% of all purchases made on the Sand Cloud website that are donated towards marine life rescue. So if you guys are interested in purchasing anything off of the SandCloud website and helping to save marine life, then I have a coupon code for you, which is right here, ShaunaEmily937. If you put that in at checkout, you will receive 15% off of your purchase. Next up, the product that I want to show you guys will be perfect for all of you Instagram savvy people out there, anyone who likes doing swatches for new palettes or eyeshadows that they've received, then this is exactly what you need. This is from a company called Polished Vino. I will leave her information down below in the description box. She is amazing. She personally contacted me after I put in my order, letting me know that there was a cheaper shipping option, which I really appreciated. And so we went with that option and I was reimbursed the difference right away. But yeah, I wanted to pick up some stickers so that I could do some really cool swatch photos for my Instagram. These are the different swatches that I got. I got so many different ones. I like that they're bright pink, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I got four of this one here. I don't know if you can really tell. There you go. You can see that they're just regular um, rectangles. So I got four sheets of those. Two of this one, which is just like diamond patterns. So I got two sheets of zigzags, which is great as well. And then I got just four sheets of smaller rectangles, so even smaller ones. And this is actually the perfect way to introduce my next item. So we're going to dive into the makeup products now. I am really excited for this next product. And it is the brand new palette from Urban Decay. This is their Born to Run palette. If you're interested in seeing this baby in action, then I will link my latest YouTube makeup tutorial up here for you guys. It is actually featuring this eye makeup that I'm wearing right now, which I am obsessed with. But yeah, let's open this up to show you guys. I love the story behind this palette. The photos that are featured on the actual package front and back are from some of the people who work at Urban Decay and had put time and effort into creating this palette. It's some of their photos from adventures and trips that they have personally gone on, which I think is awesome. And I also feel like this palette was made for people like me because it speaks right to my heart because I am obsessed with travel. Like if I could, I would be out on an adventure right now somewhere in the world just exploring because that's what really speaks to my soul is travel. When you open it up and look at the colors inside, it's a whole nother reason why I bought this palette and it's obvious. Like look at these colors in this palette. Like I honestly can't get over them and like they're so unique. I don't have any other palette with colors like this. I watched two makeup tutorials of two different girls, Lola Liner and Jamie Genevieve, using this palette and after watching those two videos, I headed straight to the Sephora website and put my order in for this palette and I was so excited when it came in. Next up, I just have this one eyeliner that I want to show you guys. It's an infinite precision liner from Gucci and I just love the color you'll you'll know why once I show you the color why I bought this not because it's Gucci or whatever and it was a good price but because of the color and it's called iconic Otanio like you can see the color there and like you just you know why I got this it's such a pretty color and I cannot wait to see what looks I create with this I've never actually tried any of Gucci's makeup products before so I'm really interested to see how this works out for me so I got all of these liquid what are these even they're heavy glit gel gel litter I got these five products they're all the same product in different colors from uh, a brand called Focaler and they are the heavy gel litter eyeliners so they're like gel glitter eyeliners and I got them in all the colors that they offer. These are the colors that I got here. So I got like the silver color, 
the purple color, the pink color, like a champagne color and blue. So I'm interested to see how like the quality of them and how they really work. So let's just swatch it here on my hand and kind of see what it looks like. So yeah, it's kind of just like a clear adhesive with the blue glitter in it, but it is very pretty. This is kind of what it looks like there. Next up is a lip gloss from Pixie Beauty. Now, I do have to admit, I have never tried anything from Pixie Beauty before. I have wanted to because I love the packaging and they've done some collaborating with one of the YouTubers that I watch, Chloe Morello. And so I thought I would start off with a lip gloss and it is the one that is in collaboration with Chloe Morello. So this is the Pixie Times Chloe Morello lip icing in the color cake so it's like a very like gold kind of like champagne -y colored lip glitter i've never used it it doesn't have a very strong smell kind of smells like candy but let's swatch this on my hand as well just to see oh wow it's definitely i can understand why it's called a lip icing so yeah you can see it kind of right here on my hand. It's got some glitter in it and a slight goldy tint to it. But yeah, it is very, very pretty. So I'm excited to use this in a tutorial and in photos so that I can show you what it looks like on the lips. Next up, I have two lip products from, from Morphe. Now, I kind of was going through my lip collection and realized that most of my lip products are matte. So I needed to pick up some lip glosses and I hadn't tried any of the lip products from Morphe before. So I went and picked up two of their lip glosses. Look at they're like diamond, like slanted lids. So cool. I really like the packaging. So yeah, I picked up these two colors. This lighter one here on the top is Boho and this bottom one is called Tipsy. You can see it right there. It's a very, very light nudie pink color. This is more of like a watermelony color, which is super gorgeous and very glossy. Like I said, I haven't used these products yet, so I don't know what they'll be like to wear or if they're like super sticky, but I don't expect them to be. So I'm really excited to try these out and see how I feel about them. They were very affordable. So if I do like them, I'm definitely going to be picking up some more. Okay, a few more things in the beauty department. The first one is this nice black box that I received in the mail. The label on it is Sigma Beauty. So Sigma did just have their big sale online. So of course I was going to pick up some brushes because I always need more brushes. And I think it was like if I spent a certain amount, I got this free brush in, in my order. So this is a small travel size brush. It is the eyeliner brush, the E05 brush. It is a super, super tiny pointed eyeliner brush, which is great with the pink handle. It has the usual Sigma insignia on it with the brush information on there as well. I forgot that I had um, a liquid eyeliner and an eyeshadow in my order as well. So I haven't tried any of Sigma's makeup before. I've, I've tried their brushes, but I haven't tried their makeup. So yeah, this is in the color Line Ace. So it is the purple color. So let's swatch that there. Wow. Love the brush. Love the applicator on it. That's the liner right there. Love that color. I don't have a liquid liner like that color, so that's perfect to add to my collection. Love that. And then the eyeshadow I got is in the color Control. So this is an individual eyeshadow from Sigma. So this is just a matte black eyeshadow. Okay, so let's go through the brushes that I got. The first one I got is this one here. This is the Sigma E20 Short Shader Brush, which looks like this, which will be perfect for packing color onto my lid. This is the Sigma Small Tapered Blending Brush. So this is their E45. So this is a more precise tapered blending brush to get more precisely into the crease which is awesome so it's great for blending in transition colors or if you're layering and you want a more precise color in your crease then this is the brush that i would use for that eye shading e55 brush so this again would be perfect for just getting color 
all over the entire lid. This is the E46 Inner Corner shader brush so I never had a brush that I specifically used for getting like highlight in the inner corners of my eyes so this is what I would be using this one for because it's small tapered and good and precise for that lastly I have this brush here this is their flat angled kabuki the f88 brush so this flat angled face brush is what I would use for probably baking or setting so I would just dip it into my setting powder and then like really pack it on under my eye and help to set anywhere on my face but because it's tapered and angled like this it's perfect for getting right under the eye so that's what I intend to use this brush for. Okay so two more things left in the beauty department and they are both from the same company again and again I have not heard of this brand before. They're called Sample Beauty and I had seen an eye makeup look on Instagram that I loved and I didn't have any colors in my collection to, to even try and recreate this look. So I looked at the details under the photo on Instagram to see what palette they used and it was this palette here. So this is the Sample Beauty Paradigm Shift palette. Yeah, it has such an array of colors, but like colors that I did not have in my collection. Like I had a yellow like that, but like all of these colors here, like reds I didn't have, like this light purple, that purple there, like it has such a good arrangement of bright colors that I feel are essential for a makeup artist or any like aspiring makeup artist like myself. It's nice because it has an array of like mattes and shimmer shadows in here. I don't know what the pigmentation is like. I haven't swatched this yet, but keep your eyes open for a swatch photo or video on my Instagram coming up very soon. And the second product that I purchased from the Sample Beauty website is this one here. This is their Glow and Go Pressed highlighter palette. It's nice because it comes with a great um, mirror on it. It has these four different highlighters on it. So this one has names for them. So this one here is called Birch. This one is Chaser. This one is Gala. And this is Dahlia. So I will link their information down below in the description box. But if you want to see it here, here is the card that they sent me. So you can go ahead and take a screenshot of this too if you want. And there's also a code on the bottom there for 15% off, which is awesome. It is SAVE15, which is great. It's always nice when they throw in a coupon code. So the very last product that I'm showing you in this haul today, it's more on the lifestyle side of things. Now, a bit of backstory. My sister-in-law, Leandra, picked up a set for herself. Not the same set that I have, but a different one. And... She has been really liking it and she brought it to my place when she stayed last time a couple weeks ago and I really got kind of interested in it so I picked up the exact same kit that Kaylin Nicholson has and this is a tarot card deck and now I am so excited I haven't tried it out yet I'm going to be reading up into it tonight but I just wanted to share it with you guys because if you're interested in stuff like this this one has some really really great reviews on Amazon and on Indigo I really like it it, it comes with a guidebook as well so let's open it up the wild unknown that's what this this kit is called the wild unknown tarot card set and it's by Kim Cran. So it has information on tarot card reading itself and on all the different cards that are in it, any that you might flip over and choose. So it has the meanings in here. So when you're doing your tarot card reading, this is what you would reference to delve deeper into the cards and find out what they actually mean. You open it like this and these cards are smaller than the set of cards that Leandra has, but that's okay. I like it because it's more compact. This is the back of all the cards. This is what it looks like. They look like they've been drawn with like pencil or pencil crayon, stuff like that. Here's one of a horse. And now that it's arrived, I'm excited to do some readings and see what the universe has in store for me or what messages 
um, it has for me. But that is it for my haul video. I do have some other things yet to arrive in the mail, but I couldn't wait any longer to film this for you guys. So I really hoped you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already by clicking the little red subscribe button down below on my YouTube homepage as well as the little bell notification button right beside it so that you get notified every time I put up a new video, which is weekly on Wednesdays. But that is it for me, guys. Thanks once again for tuning in, and I will see you in next week's video. Bye, guys.